Hello and welcome to the Engineer Campus. Here I want to present uh, tools that are used in construction and development so that more people can build awesome products. And for this first A video here, I want to talk about what is an engineer about and where does he come from. So Wikipedia tells us that engineer comes from the Latin ingeniare, to contrive or device, and ingenium, cleverness, so to come up with something smart and clever. So it is the engineer that take, comes up with an application for the breathtaking new findings from science and then applies it to practical use for the population. The first engineer may probably have been a mechanical engineer. The roots of mechanical engineering go back to Archimedes who besides inventing the Archimedic screw also popularized the expression Eureka. Um, as he was tasked to find out if the king's crown from his, from his king of course was made out of pure gold, he became delusional and he took a bath of what you take to, right? So, and as he noticed the water spilling out of the bathtub, he, it dawned on him and what is happening, and he discovered the principle of displacement. That is, you can calculate the volume of any object just by putting it in the bucket of water, and then you measure how much liquid goes away, and you have the volume. So with the volume and the weight of the crown he could now calculate the density and he found out that yeah, silver was mixed into it. So and he was then famously running naked out of his bathroom into the street and yelling Eureka. These findings then topped off probably with the mechanical engineering during the Middle Ages where the engineers um, were used by the kings for building siege engines and all kinds of technical devices uh, for warfare where people came up with all new ideas how they could fight and defend themselves as well. The trebuchet for example is um, considered the pinnacle of medieval engineering. So what the medieval engineer was all doing on itself, it was now all done by different professions. So now we have the inventor, the constructor, the technical drawer, the production planner, the logistician, quality control, designer and so on. So all this division of work makes the engineer very dependent on others, but it also breaks down the work into small digestible parts which makes it possible for others to step in and also take part in the production process. The value that an engineer specifically is creating is that it kicks down a whole cascade of production and development processes uh, by just starting and coming up with an idea for a product and developing the engineering drawings out of it that are then the basis for the construction itself. So he gets the value by creating a completely new product that is then sold, product, produced and marketed by others. The task of the engineer is to bring scientific findings into the public by producing new products. This makes them profit directly from more open research. Exactly this has increased a lot in the past years as scientific results get more publicity the internet and access to them is more and more borderless. So with all the scientific progress and the discoveries it's now in the engineers in all fields to bring them into the market. Enough work can be done that even engineers shall find something to do that never saw the university. So it's your opportunity to step in and make the future real. Thank you.